guys, it is Tanya and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another speed build. Today I am back building a three bedroom, one bathroom home in the world of Windenburg, which is the world that came with the Sims 4 get together expansion pack. And this home is coming in at around 75,000 simoleons and is placed on a 40 by 30 lot. I had a ton of suggestions from you guys since when Eco Lifestyle came out. I built a few different eco-inspired builds based on the new items and, you know, wallpapers and such that we got with the pack, but they were mostly tiny homes or for like one or two sims and you guys really wanted to see a family home, so that's what I'm doing here today. I imagine this was for one or two parents and two children. I'm completely in love with how this build came out. I had a lot of fun exploring the different shapes I could make with this house. It does have a little bit of what I would consider an A-frame on the sides, but the roof is not pitched as much on the top. It's kind of got like a barn roof vibe with some beautiful glass slants on the sides and uh, some solar panels as well. I do have to get rid of the solar panels for a while and then re-add them later because as I was adding onto the build, they kept getting deleted. So for a while of this build, you're going to see you know, just random solar panels that are supposed to be on the roof in the middle of the grass because I just had to leave them be for a while. But anyway, back to what I was saying is I had a lot of fun with this build, figuring out the shape, and I really like how it came out. I went all out with landscaping. I think that's just been a theme on the channel the last week or so. I go a little overboard and I have way too much fun with it. And I probably spend more time landscaping the house than I do building it or decorating it. But I think that's a me problem. <laughs> and a lot of you guys said that you enjoy watching me landscape. So I kept a majority of it in. Some of it I cut out because there was just so much. There was a lot of footage for this. And speaking of which, uh, let me know if you guys notice a quality difference with this video. This is my first video where the whole thing is filmed with a different software than I normally use. The file sizes are a lot bigger, so they fill up space on my computer more, but I think the quality looks better. Uh, so let me know what you guys think of it, if you noticed a difference, if it seems way more clear. What I noticed is when I'm spinning the camera around more, the the footage isn't blurry like it was when I was using OBS. I don't know if you guys even noticed that to begin with, but if you did or didn't, let me know what you think of this, audio, uh, not audio quality. I guess the audio quality as well, that hasn't changed though. But the video quality, if it's any better, uh, if I should keep using this software. But anyway, we're just figuring out some decorations and I put a fence around the whole property. This whole house is on a diagonal. I don't know why I do that to myself so often, but I just thought it would look really nice in this orientation not directly facing the road, but sort of facing the road. And I just, I love how it came out. I still really wish that we could put stairs on diagonals. I don't know if that's ever gonna happen, but it is on my wish list and I'm hoping one day it will. But one thing that I did do, which we haven't fully gotten to yet, I thought it would be kind of cool for this house for it to be a little bit hidden from the road. It is in the countryside of Windenburg anyway, so it's not like in the middle of a big city, but I did kind of hide the front of the house with lots of shrubbery and trees. So it had a little bit more of a private feel to the property. Um, but we're adding some shrubs on the inside of the fence here. And there's just, there's a lot of greenery. I used a lot of show live edit objects and uh, of course had fun with that. <laughs> we have a bunch of these various bushes from that catalog and I changed my mind a few different times so you might see some plants popping on screen and then disappearing and then you know I I'm very indecisive when it comes to builds I'm like ooh, does this look good hmm, maybe about this uh, and then I have these beautiful rocks from that same catalog that I used to frame a walkway up to the house as well as behind the house because there's a very narrow walkway to get behind the house to a back porch, which is a fairly sizable porch that I do put a few activities out on, mostly a table and a barbecue. I think there's also a lounge space back there as well, which I will get to pretty much at the end of this build. I think that's the last thing I do. But we're going to be working on some terrain paint now after I add a couple more rocks. I was trying to make it look a little bit more seamless. I didn't want it to look abrupt where the rocks were or they weren't placed properly. It's something I fiddle with a little too much and I feel like I could have fiddled with it longer. I could have spent hours just placing rocks so that they looked perfect and uh, I did place them for a very long time. So uh, <laughs> yeah, anyway, uh, I liked using these um, what, are, what pack? They're from the laundry pack, these rugs on the front porch. I also have a laundry line and a wash bucket on this property. So if you wanted to use that 
laundry system. It is available here. I think the theme I went for with this house is a mixture of modern and rustic, and I think those go together pretty well, but you guys can let me know what you think about that. Also, if you guys like this build, it is available to download on the Sims 4 gallery if you search Griffey, which is my origin ID, or the hashtag Miss Griffey. I will put all of that information down below as well as a direct download link to the gallery website if it's easier to download it that way. But I did talk over, I put a swing set kind of nestled in the greenery off to the left side of the build. I wanted to make sure there were some activities for kids to do out here. Right now, I also have a toddler slide, but I'm about to delete that or yeah, there it's gone um, because I decided I didn't want a toddler in this house and I just felt like that felt really out of place. Whereas the swing set and later on I'll add some monkey bars. They're made out of wood and they just, they fit a little bit better than a big plastic slide. So I thought those were better objects to have on the outside as well. Also, I have this little greenhouse-y bit inside the glass roof. Uh, instead of having that open to the inside and having like outdoor lighting, I decided to keep it in its own space and just be a cute room that you can go in and have a couple of plants. And it's right next to the kitchen. So I thought that worked out nicely, but I am working on the floor plan now and I do rearrange the kitchen because it's a little funky right now. It does still end up being on a sort of diagonal which since the whole house is on a diagonal, the diagonal portion is actually not diagonal. It's confusing uh, but I was trying to have some of the counters not on a diagonal and I ended up with two of them not on a diagonal but I think I managed to figure it out decently. Uh, you guys can tell me what you think of this kitchen space. I had a blast just having a different shaped kitchen and also having it open like this with the various columns. I just thought it was a little bit different. I feel like I build my kitchens very similar and so this was a refreshing build plus it used a lot of my color schemes that I really really enjoy of the more natural woods, this wood wallpaper from Eco Lifestyle, which is my absolute favorite in the game. I got to use all over this build. It's the entire exterior. It's got a bunch of walls inside and just using those colors with blacks and whites all over. I was so happy with that. Of course, there's some other colors in this build. Obviously there's lots of plants. I brought some of that inside from outside and uh, just a couple pops here and there. I didn't want it to be too bright and colorful. I wanted it to feel cozy. It's definitely more of a family home. And then we have uh, some kids toys throughout, including that new cardboard dollhouse, which I think is so cute. And it just, I'm about to, I apologize. I'm about to compare children to rabbits. Um, I just bought my rabbit a cardboard like castle and I love it. I was actually looking at like kids toys and cat toys to get her like a new cardboard exciting thing for her. So it just reminds me of that and like using cardboard to make fun activities for children or for your pets is just such a cool idea. And so I of course thought of that because uh, my children is my rabbit. My, my children. That, great English, Tanya. I'm doing great today. I just can't speak, but that's not new. Uh, you just don't hear as much of it as actually happens. I end up cutting a lot out of me going blah, 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 because I just mess up my words so much. But if you guys would like to actually hear all of that when it happens, I'm going to be streaming later today over on twitch.tv slash Miss Griffey. I will have a link down below. I'll probably also put a pinned comment with that. Uh, if you'd like to be notified when I go live, you can either follow me over on Twitch through that link or you can also uh, check me out on Twitter or Instagram. I should be posting on both of those as well as my community tab here when I do go live later. I don't know exactly what time yet. It really depends on what time I get some stuff done around the house but later on tonight I will be over on Twitch hanging out with you guys building some stuff and just chit chatting so if you're interested in that I will have a link down below to how you can follow me. I'm really looking forward to that but anyway back to the build at hand. I'm making kind of a makeshift closet in the entryway because the closets that came with get to work, which is what I, or not get to work, get together, which is what I was planning on using in the entrance, they are supposed to sit inside a wall, but they are smaller than the walls are when they are on a diagonal. So it didn't pop through the wall like I wanted it to. So I kind of made my own thing, uh, but we're done with that now. And we're in to the living space. I changed this so many times, the colors mostly in the rug. I tried to have this green wall and I like the green wall and I'm going to use it someday. I just feel like I couldn't get it to work with how I wanted this room to look and what like the vibe I wanted it to have for this cozy family home. So right now the wall is blue, but I am going to change it to the sort of like white chevron pattern that came with bowling stuff. It's one of my favorite, I think it's called bowling night stuff. It's one of my favorite wallpapers. There it is. And uh, I of course made a L-shaped sofa out of two of these new ones from Eco Lifestyle at 
first I have this giant TV. We still have a pretty big TV, but it ends up not being mounted above the fake fireplace. It ends up being off to the side on top of a dresser, and I will do that momentarily. I was just very indecisive with this room in particular. I don't know what it is. I just, I loved how the exterior came out. I really liked the kitchen. And then I got to the living room and I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. And uh, it took some fiddling. <laughs> That's why it changes so much. I had to cut a lot of that out because it could have been easily like the whole build, like the length of this build could have just been the living room because I just couldn't decide what I wanted it to look like. But I think it came out a lot more light and airy and happy in here because there's a lot more whites. I still have some of those deep browns and gray and then there's a couple of kids toys around. I love putting that little arts and crafts bucket from parenthood in uh, family homes because I think it's so realistic for kids to have like that bucket of all of their crayons and construction paper and glue and glitter and so you know having a space where they could sit at the end of the table and play with that I thought would be pretty realistic obviously your sims can't actually do that unfortunately but I do think it's really cool and actually speaking of not being able to do that I've said this before but I want like a crafting pack so bad I know we're getting knitting and it's bringing knitting to the game but like I want a hobbies pack like all these different hobbies you can do like so badly I feel like I also mentioned this past week when I did that cottage core tiny house how nice it would be to have like a pottery wheel I did so much ceramics in university and I just those are things that would be fun to have in the game I'm very much looking forward to knitting I wonder when they're going to actually announce when that's coming out uh we already know what items are in it because we voted on it but I want that pack it just feels like it's been a really long time since we've heard anything about it. I feel like we got a lot of updates for a while on what was selected, the process, the progress that was being made on it, and then it's just been silent. It's like, oh yeah, knitting, <laughs> about that. Uh, so I don't know. I I'm excited for new content. We just got this pack last month, um, but since we already know knitting is coming, I'm a little antsy about it. I'm also, of course, very curious as to what the game pack's gonna be, but I don't expect to find out about what that is anytime soon, but it would be nice if we did. But I just talked over the master bedroom. It used a lot of new items from Eco Lifestyle, and it brings in more of a red color scheme, which I really enjoyed, especially because there was a chair from Bowling Night stuff that was the exact same swatch, so it, those matched so nicely. But this is the first of the two kids' bedrooms. I thought it would be kind of fun to do a kid that was obsessed with pink. I know my sister was when I was, she was a kid. I know I was when I was a kid. I've known a lot of people that for a short period of time in their childhood, it was just pink everything. And some people grow out of it. Some people don't. There's nothing wrong with the color pink. It's not my cup of tea, but boy, does my family like to remind me that it used to be and I don't remember it, but they sure do. <laughs> so I thought it was kind of fun to make a room that was just pink. Uh, but anyway, this other room is a kid that really loves the color teal in the combo of teal and black. I did add some more white in here to change the dresser or the, uh, I guess it's like a little wardrobe and the bedside table to be white and there's some other blues. They don't quite match, but I feel like that's pretty realistic for a kid's room that not everything is going to match, especially if they picked it out. So I thought that was kind of a fun, realistic touch. This, I imagine, was a slightly younger kid, has some interest in reading and also like space. And I just love decorating kids' rooms. I think they're really fun because you can inject so much personality into them and they can be kind of all over the place too, where maybe they have this interest in this one and, or maybe none of their interests are, are related. They just thought this was pretty. <laughs> so I, I really like doing kids' rooms. But we're on the back porch now, which is the last thing we're gonna be working on in this build. I have a little bit of a lounge space. I think I switch out the table for a different table with an umbrella. Yes, this one right here, put some chairs around it. And I think that's pretty much it. I think we're just gonna get some lighting outside so it's not so dark if you're hanging out on the porch. And then we're gonna be going on into screenshots. I hope you guys did enjoy this build. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps me out. You can also subscribe to the channel if you have not already. I'd love to have you join our little family. And if you click that bell, it'll turn on notifications to so be notified of every single time I upload a new video. But that's pretty much it. We're gonna be heading on into screenshots shortly. And if you'd like to come hang out with me later on over on Twitch, I will have links down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all soon. Bye everybody. Bye.